Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, in how many ways can six people be arranged in a circle if two particular people are always together and B is separated? So what is a given question? Six people are to be arranged in a circle. So how many ways this can be done? If two particular people are always together, that is one case. And second case is two particular people are always separated. Suppose A, B are the two people means first case is A and B are always together. In how many ways you are arranging always this A and B are together. Second case is A and B are always separated. So here you have to arrange six people in a circle. So first we can try to derive the formula for arranging n people in a circle. If you want to arrange n people in a row, it can be done in n factorial ways. There is no doubt in that. If you want to arrange n people in a row, it can be done in n factorial ways. Suppose n is equal to 3. So n is equal to 3 means in how many ways you can arrange in a circle. So suppose first A is coming here. So here B and here C. And if, even if you are putting B here. Okay, so next suppose you are considering B here. Then A and then here C. So it is same as A, B, C only. So this can be rotated. If this circle is rotated once, it becomes same as the first arrangement. The second arrangement becomes same as the first arrangement. So these all cases you need not consider by just one rotation you will be getting the same arrangement. So here only actually two arrangements are possible one is A B C and the second arrangement will be A then C will come here and B will come here. This is a second arrangement. All the other arrangements you can just obtain by rotating this same circle. So that is the case with a circle. Suppose if there are four people means how many different arrangements will be possible. So you yourselves can arrange and see A, A B then C and D that is one case and second case is a then B is coming here, D is coming here and C is coming here that is second case and the third case will be A then uh, C is, B is coming here, C is coming here and D is coming here that is the third case and fourth case again this is just reversed C is coming here, B is coming here and D is same here. Similarly then B should come here, B should come here then C and D here then again sixth case will be B is coming here and D and C is getting reversed. So in total only there will be six ways in which the four people can be arranged. So what is the formula? So for three people you are having how many ways? Only two ways are there. Then for four people you are having how many ways? You are having only six ways. So if there are two people means you will be having only one way. Only one way you can arrange two people. So here actually the formula will be n minus 1 factorial. So the ways of arranging n people in a circle will be n minus 1 factorial. You can check here 3 people means 3 minus 1, 2, 2 factorial is equal to 2. So 3 people you can arrange in 3 minus 1 factorial that is 2 factorial ways which is equal to 2 and for people you can arrange in 4 minus 1 factorial ways which is equal to 3 factorial which gives you 6. So you can arrange n people in a circle in n minus 1 factorial ways. So be thorough with this formula. When you are thorough with this formula you can do these kind of questions. You can arrange n people in a circle in n minus 1 factorial. Now keeping this formula in mind, we are going to solve this question. Now let's go to the part A of the question. You have to arrange six people so that two people are always together. So you are considering A, B, C, D, E and F. Six people are there. You have to arrange so that two people are always together. Suppose you are taking A and B together. So A and B are always together. Okay. So this is one unit. So now you have to rearrange all these five people. One. 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this is the fifth unit. The two people have to be considered as a single entity for the purpose of arranging. So you have to arrange 5 people in a circle. So how many ways 5 people can be arranged in a circle? It can be done in 5 minus 1 factorial ways. Into these two people can be arranged in 2 ways. So it will be 5 minus 1 factorial into 2 ways. So the two people are always together. So you have to consider these two people as a single entity so there will be five persons in total these five persons you have to arrange first it can be done in five minus one factorial ways then these two people can be arranged in two ways so five minus one factorial into two which gives you four factorial into two four factorial is equal to four into three 12. 12 into two is equal to 24 so 24 into two is equal to 
48 now second part is how many ways you can arrange six people so that two people are always separated so when two people are always separated you can do like what are the total number of possibilities total number of possibilities will be six people you have to arrange it can be done in six minus one factorial ways which is five factorial five factorial is equal to 120 so 120 ways you can arrange six people in a circle and when two people are always together it can be arranged in 48 ways so 120 minus 48 when two people are always separated you are taking the total number of possibilities minus number of ways in which two people are always together it is equal to 48 that we found in part a itself so 120 minus 48 is equal to 72 ways you can arrange so that the two people are always separated so this is all about the arrangement in circle so just remember you can arrange n people in a circle in n minus 1 factorial ways thank you for watching